move on to our focus on the Nigerian equity space, and we have Rotimi Fakayejo, the Managing Director of Enterprise Capital Partners. Rotimi, I think it would be great to start on by focusing on the re uh, results that were released today. We saw Access Bank revenue up 54 percent profit after tax up 150 uh, percent now the company paid 60 cobo uh, dividend uh, now we hear that there was some selling pressure on the stock immediately after the results were released uh, which I, I know some will find surprising uh, that stock closed with a 0.1 percent uh, rise in the share price today so not a lot of uh, uh, gain seen there it would be great if you could talk us through your your view on the results and also the performance of that stock today uh, today is quite uh, exciting in the market uh, there was a lot of radiance on the faces of the stock brokers because of the various results that were released into the market um, the one that caught the eye of investors more is the result of Access Bank. Access Bank uh, posed quite a, uh, a substantial uh, profit and it was uh, really as much as what was being expected. In spite of a write off of about 10.9 billion, the state came up with about 44 billion after tax. And uh, Access Bank is paying a final dividend of 60 cobo. And uh, earlier on, they had paid a dividend of about 25 cobalt. That gives a cumulative of 85 cobalt dividend. And I think a lot of operators did not interpret those results correctly. They have, they, they have the belief that the total dividend being paid is 60 cobalt. That is 35 cobalt now and the 25 cobalt that had earlier been paid. Mm -hmm. But it's quite, but we were able to explain to some of them that that is not really the way it is, that the cumulative is actually 85 cobalt. There was a lot of, sell, there had been a lot of selling pressure on Access Bank even before the result came out. And that uh, pressure did not win today. But the market was able to absorb the pressure and, uh, and I think it still closed a little uh, above what it opened uh, yeah, uh, in the morning. So I believe uh, strongly that um, the, the reaction to the result today is quite impressive, quite positive, and uh, quite substantial. We saw a lot of volume and value being done in the market today. We saw about 560 million total shares, uh, units of total shares traded, and also about six, over 6 billion Naira in value. And I think something substantial again happened in the market today in the sense that uh, the um, the, uh, the market capitalization crossed the 10, point, uh, 10 uh, trillion naira mark. It, the, uh, tr the capitalization today closed at about 11.079 uh, trillion, and that is quite impressive. And uh, we believe that uh, more, as more results come in, uh, more of these positive reactions are going to follow. But I think for some of the, uh, for one other stock, which wasn't, um, which hasn't really uh, been. Um, Impressive in its price performance is GT Bank. GT yes. Bank had earlier sent in their results, but even at that, there has been a lot of selling pressure. And yes, I, I think. Was just, I was just going to say, I mean, we saw that stock uh, coming down 6.4% today. I mean, it looks like, I mean, is this as a result of profit taking, or do you feel like uh, 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 the impressive results that uh, have been expected may be short lived? Is this what we're seeing with GT? No, I think uh, there, there has been a tradition with GT Bank. I think for quite about four or five years now, on the day that the result of GT Bank is released, or a day after, the result usually comes down. And I think there's a lot of expectation that has been built into that price. And that is the reason why you see it priced higher than any other banking stock. And uh, um, I, between you and I, by the time the, uh, the stock is marked down next week, there is every likelihood that the stock might be on the rise again. And I think maybe shortly after that, we're going to see the first quarter result coming out. And uh, this, this is going to revigorate and consolidate the impression that people have about the stock. So I think there is really not much to, take, uh, to fear about because uh, those who are selling right now are people who have, who have already bought at about 18 era, 16 era. So if but they are actually the selling at the... What about on the short term, uh, Rotimi, for that stock? I mean... I'm 6.4% down today. What can we expect to see before the end of the week? Uh, before the end of the week, uh, I, I heard from some of our colleagues today, a lot of people are prepared that should the price drop further, that they're going to go on a, they're going to go on a buying spree. So I don't see the, result, uh, the, um, the price coming lower than 24. And even if it gets to 24.50, we are going to see a lot of 
uh, uh, influx of funds going to uh, going in the direction of purchasing that particular stock. And uh, the way it is, I strongly believe that by the time it is marked down next week, definitely the price is going to be on the move again. What about the likes of Sterling Bank? I mean, we saw uh, profit after tax up 3.9%, revenue up 52%. Um, dividend yield declared that uh, dividend yield, we have 7.3%, uh, uh, 20 cover dividend declared. Uh, so 7.3 is pretty good. Uh, we saw that stock go up 9.5% today, up to 3 naira. Now, that brings the year-to-day year performance of Sterling to 74%. Uh, your thoughts on Sterling's results and what we can expect from that stock going forward? Well, uh, if you look critically uh, at the results of Sterling Bank, you will see that there is not much difference in the profit after tax compared to what we had last year. The only thing that is substantial this year is the uh, um, amount of dividend that is being paid out. Mm. And uh, that, uh, that is well um, acceptable to the uh, investors. And uh, they have really treated that in, in good light. And that is why you saw the result going up today. And I think going forward, we've really seen a situation. Uh, what we have in the market presently is an average dividend, pay, uh, dividend yield of about 6% for the banking sector stocks. Mm -hmm. And uh, when you look at that of um, uh, Sterling Bank, it's quite higher than that. So I believe investors are really going to do the analysis further and they're going to stick with this, uh, with this talk. So I don't really see the price coming down substantially or at all by the time it is marked down. Now, very quickly, before we go, I'll just have to uh, mention NACO. We saw uh, profit after tax down 26%. Uh, dividend yield of 3.7%. That stock uh, dropped 2.5% today. It would be good to have a quick expectation for that stock going forward. Year-to-date performance now stands at 22%. Well, uh, the, it, it wasn't the, the result that we got from them today it wasn't impressive at all. There is a drop in all the statistics coming from the company. And the only thing that can survey that company is if they bring a first quarter result that is quite impressive. Otherwise, we see the price nose diving to as low as five naira.